John, the doctor told me she's disabled. Relax. It'll get better. Madam, why are you here? You might be allowed to be here again, but don't forget, the prince has told you many times not to work, for at least a month. Please don't get me in trouble. <laughs> okay, I'm confiscating it. Stop it, please. Just put it in the cabinet. Mm, sure. What a pretty hairpin. Sister! A guard told me to give this note to you. Huh? I thought His Highness told us to be careful. Don't take a stranger's note without telling me. But he knows me, though. And he called me Dan Yang. Huh? That's enough. It's just a note. Don't be paranoid. Let me see it. Hmm. You're absurd. <laughs> The East Ridge Trap? Chen, Yuan Lu told me you haven't eaten all day. Now you're out here. What's wrong? Can I help? I'm fine. I'm just not hungry. You want nothing? How about a meat dish or a soup? I can go and have it made. Uh, it's okay. Now I crave soup from the Jingshang restaurant. My father would buy it for me. Well, in the morning, someone will get it for you. But it's only good when it's hot. Dan, maybe I could just go there if you'll allow me. You can't. You still haven't recovered yet. Come on. I need to get out soon. I've been stuck here for 10 days. I'm bored to death. Besides, I'm not going just to have some soup. The sun's kiln sent some clay to Lu Yuan recently. It's a new batch. The color might not be as good, but it could be useful for molding. I would like to check it out. But can you trust the workers? Yes, of course I can. They've been there for a long time. Dan, please, I need to go. All right, then. You can go. But only if Yuan Lu accompanies you there, okay? Mm. Who's she talking to now? Uh, she's talking to no one. She's training it for fun. Sir, a letter. Brother Shen, I found out the truth about the East Ridge Trap. Come find me at noon today. We need to discuss this. I'm going out. <sighs> Miss. He took the bait? Mm. Oh, oh, get out of my way, please. Get out of my way. Don't bump into me. Walk straight. I would like to eat alone. Stay out here. Uh, I can't do that. The prince said... I've been confined in there. I'm finally out. Just let me be alone. But... And besides, the guards are right here. If anyone wants to bother me, they'll rush inside when they hear me scream. Oh, please. Buy food for Danyang. Oh, of course I forgot. 
I'll do that now. I'll be back. What's your plan? Relax. Let's talk. I just want you to know the truth. If I didn't send you that letter, you wouldn't come. Madam Lou, please sit down. What trick are you playing? I'm not playing a trick. As I said in the letter, I'll tell you the truth about the trap. Okay. Then tell me, who wanted me dead? That Mr. Liu happened to be the uncle of the maid Liu Xiu. You caused his niece to be buried alive. You haven't forgotten that. You remember, don't you? Liu Xi's uncle? He set up the trap. To avenge what you did to her. When you had your mishap, I didn't think the prince would be angry. He got all his guards to destroy that poor uncle's home. The uncle got so upset and smashed his head right against a wall. Madam Lu, so many people have died because of you. If I were you, I would just die. And I wouldn't have pestered the prince and made him anxious. Everyone is laughing at him now. What's your status? You're only an official. The prince doesn't fancy any noble ladies. He'd rather love a disabled girl. It's no use. You're saying all this just to provoke me. Dan and I don't care about this. Also, if my hand doesn't get better, it wouldn't bother him. But it will never heal. They're all lying to you if they say that it will get better. In the past, you could make great porcelain. But with your hand like that, I doubt you could even need clay. It doesn't matter. Dan still loves me. <laughs> then believe that. Besides, you'll be nobody soon enough. Since I've already told you the entire truth, you should stick around here for a bit. Also, you shouldn't call the guards. Otherwise... I will go and tell the prince that you came out to see my brother here in private. You... Watch her. She can leave in four hours. Yes. yes. Please enjoy the food I got you. Relax. There's no poison. Oh, I forgot. You can't hold chopsticks, can you? Choi Hua, whatever she wants to eat, Make sure that you feed her. Understand? Yes. <sighs> so how's my brother? We're good. He is miles away. He will be back soon. Whoa! General, why are you here? Where's Madame Lu? Madame Lu? Uh, why? She's not here. That's strange. It's fine. If she comes, please have her brought to my residence. Yes. Ha! Luten. Just stay strong. She only said that to provoke you. You must believe Dan. He said that your hand will heal. And he said he'll overcome all obstacles with you next to him.
Why is Jia Min keeping me here for four hours? What is she doing right now? Adam Lu, you're finally out! You took so long, I was really worried! I'm fine. Let's go back now. Right. You go ahead. I must do something. No, I can't. The prince said... Do it! Uh... Hey! Madame Lu! His Majesty is out. You will listen to my command. Yes. yes. Sister. Greetings to you, Your Highness. Get up. Thank you, Your Highness. Sister, why are you here? Please bring Duke Shen inside. Warm greetings, Prince Changguang. Warm greetings, Your Highness. Ministers, I have an announcement. Brother, this is a decree. A royal decree made by His Majesty. Duke Shen has a beautiful daughter, Jia Min. She's a virtuous girl and intelligent. She'll be bestowed to the Crown Prince. That's all. My family thanks His Majesty. Prince Changguang, I will entrust her to you now. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. We will talk later, okay? Congratulations. 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 Sister, what is this? I told you, I won't let you marry Lu Zhen. This decree must be fake. His Majesty wouldn't do this. Look at it. The seal is right there. And now, you will do this. Madam, I'm afraid that your right hand will be permanently disabled. Daughter, a decree has just been issued. Hey, come and join the fun. He's giving are worth ten teals of gold, huh, as they should. Prince Chongguang is the most handsome man in the entire empire. Of course, the palace is handing out expensive gifts. Yeah, and only a girl like Lady Shun is fit to be his wife. Yeah, of course. Hey, Jen. you 
lucky. Trust me, I just got lucky. Bujen! Bujen! I must find Jen. She can't know about this. Too late. I got someone to lure her out today. The decree should be all over the city. I'm pretty sure she's heard it. Fine. You've made your decree. But listen, I'm never going to marry Jia Min. Find another gal, Jan, for her. John! You're going to fall out with me? All because of this girl? Remember what Mother said. Before she died, she made me in charge. I'd make all the decisions that dealt with our family. Are you saying you're going to go against what Mother said? I understand that you're upset. Don't worry. You're just engaged. You can sort your affairs before you get married to Jiamin. As for Lu Jen, you can relax. She's safe now. I lured her out of here to make sure she wouldn't ruin my good news. Now it's set in stone. I will leave her alone. Take her as your concubine or just let her go. The decision's up to you. Brother, you must know that the one who cares for you the most is your own biological sister. Sister, listen. I will not take Jen for my concubine. There is no one else that I will end up with but her. I'm sick of your stubbornness. I'll have the final say. John, you have no choice but to marry her. If you dare elope with Lu Jen, I will put to death Everybody in both of your halls. You better not push me. Huan Yun, the mountains here look like big eyebrows. This place is beautiful. I think that we should come out here more often. Onion, what's wrong? Your Majesty, I have disappointed you again. Okay, tell me. Recently, your sister came by to find me for a favor. I couldn't say no. I had to stamp the seal on a decree for her while you were gone. What did it say? It said that Jia Min will marry Gao Zhan. It was planned for you to be out here with me now, while your sister spoke the decree. Huan Yun, why would you do that? It'll destroy Jian. Yan Fu, we're going back. But it's too late. The decree had been issued while we were here. What? If Jian knows this, I don't know what he will do. As I said, this is all my fault. Your Majesty, please punish me. You clearly know that I would never do that. Come on, get up. Please get up. If this happens again, you must talk about it with me first. If I did that, you wouldn't have said yes. You never... Betray your own brother. But the truth is, you've been harming him. I remember you said there will be a day when John will become the ruler. Back then, I took the medicine. So you wouldn't have an heir to force your mother to stop hurting John. Or there'd be no future ruler. But now, I haven't used the medicine. You stopped? Really? Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you before. Don't be angry with me. 
I can't be angry. I'm beyond delight now. I couldn't be angry. <laughs> My love. John's the crown prince. But if we end up having a son, it'd be unlikely for John to be the ruler. But things could change. He could still take the throne. He has to prepare for him to rule without any trouble. He should marry a noble woman who's from a good family. Although, I'm not a fan of Shen Jiamin. I do believe she'll be a good crown princess. You're making sense. But all this is so unfair to Lu Jen. If she can accept all this, your sister will make it easy. She can be John's concubine. She'll be an imperial consort. But respect Jiang Min as his wife. She won't accept that. Because she's told me that she will never share her man with some other woman. She has no choice. The decree has just been issued. If John's angry, he can come at me. He can slash me with his sword. All right. Just let me talk to him. I'll sort this out. You're awake. I'm no doctor, but you fainted because you were weak. You're fine. My sister had lured me using your name. I didn't know of the decree. She lured me away too, and she used your name. Sorry, my family is at fault. I'll go back and tell his majesty. No point. Lady Shen definitely had some help. I think the princess made her. Besides, the decree's been made. The whole country knows about it. And you can't take that back. I know, but this is all wrong. We can't let this happen. Just for a decree. I'm so tired. I'm done fighting. And I'm disabled now. I'm not worthy of Jen. No. You're worthy. Even of being Empress. Really? That's nice to hear. What will you do then? I don't know. I don't want to go and see everyone. I feel so tired. And I just want to sleep. I think you should speak to John first. I'm sure he's quite upset about this. But look where we are. I'm sure he's upset, but nothing will make a decree go away. He's done so much for me. If I go see him, it'll make me sadder. Can you let go? I will have to. I can't change this. Brother Shen, I'm really tired. I'd like to sleep now, okay? Just promise me, you won't run off. I'm in such a state. Where would I run to? If you're worried, someone can stand guard. No, that's fine. Have a rest now. I'll be back soon. Mm. That's right. Oh, you've come back. Master, did you hear? There's been a royal decree. Do you think that I'm blind? Bring my sister to me. What has gotten you so enraged? <laughs> Jai Min will be a princess. As her brother, you should be delighted for her. Father, when'd you get here?
I'm here. We're having a happy occasion. Come on, try some sweet tarts. Happy wishes to you. What happened? Duke Shen's eldest daughter is going to marry the crown prince soon and be a princess. Oh, really? that's amazing. Mm, oh, great. Lovely. <laughs> Come on now, have a dumpling. Come on. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> have another. There are plenty. Oh, thanks. That's it. Nothing left. My hands ruined. I can't make things. Or get promoted. And I can't seek revenge. And now my time is marrying somebody else. Yes, I understand. I mean, I'm very disappointed. Dad, it wasn't entirely all my fault. I only did what the princess told me. Well, the princess sent some people to fetch me from Pingzhou and not let me come here. They took me directly to the palace. That was your idea, right? Scared I would see your brother and stop the decree. I was wrong. Father, it must be changed. The prince loves another woman, and forcing him to marry doesn't benefit Jia Min. You... I know that as well, but it can't be undone. You must stop being angry, right? Jia Min, you have to grow up now. When you're married, you can tell your husband to have that girl stay in our place. Now that is the sort of maturity that my daughter should have. Yes! <laughs> Father. Enough. It's settled. I'll say no more. What did you tell her? I said nothing. Tell the truth. Look, I did nothing to her. The princess wanted to have her locked up. But she would get mad. So I had her meet me in a restaurant. I said she's disabled and can't have John. You? Why do you care, though? She'll deal with it. Oh. Lu Jen! Lu Jen! Lu Jen! Lu Jen! Lu Jen! Lu Jen!
prince, she refused to let me follow. My prince, just kill me. I should die for letting her leave me. Brother, don't worry. My men will find her. Her arm's injured. She's already depressed. Can you tell me why you made that decree? Brother. It was for your own good. You think this was for my own good. Why didn't you ask me first? You're not me. But you decide this for me? Remember, you promised me, in this room, I could marry her once she got better. You're the Emperor. Don't you know that you should always honor your promise to me? Brother, I have let you down. Just calm down, and we'll talk. When Lujan comes back here, you know how Lujan is. After hearing this news, she'll want to stay away. I doubt she'll ever want to come back here. My prince, I have these gifts from the concubines. Where should I put them for you? Get out! My prince! It's Yun. not Yan's fault. No, no, no. I forced Wan Yun to. John, please calm down. John, put the sword down and we'll have a chat. We'll resolve this. Yes. Can we? You've all hurt me far too much. So tell me, how will it be resolved? John! 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 Don't be so rash! John! <gasps> the Prince Cao Chan was hit on the head and went crazy when he heard of the news of losing his love. He swore to become a monk. Majesty, consort, your royal highness, I hope you're pleased with my decision. Medicine. Fortunately, your hand was weak. It's not deep. Why did you save me? Why did you do that? I have nothing left now. You have me. I'm sure that you know how I feel. When I said I would marry you, it's the truth. If you want to, we'll marry immediately. I'm just a soldier, and I can't sweet talk. But once we're married, we can live far away. So far from everyone. My parents will let us be. If you want kids or not, I'll agree. I will love you. Also, I'll never have a concubine.
Shen. You're so nice to me. But, as I said before, I know your sister is not at fault. So, you don't have to make amends. I'm not doing that. I never said this because Prince Chongguang is my friend. I kept quiet. But right now... Chun, please give me a chance to love you well. <sighs> All right. This is the wrong time to think about it. Just remember what I told you. For now, you should stay here and get your rest. <sighs> Promise me one thing. Please don't think about killing yourself. Think of your parents, your family, and your friends. Your Majesty, have I driven John right into a corner? He loves Lu Jen, and that won't change. I assure you that, other than her low status, she is better than Jiamin in every aspect. I was so impatient. Now I know I shouldn't have. Your Majesty, I got your wife to help make the decree. Don't blame her. The one at fault is me. It's still a decree. We can't stop it. We must think about how to get around this rule. What can be done? The country knows. If we break the decree for John, his role as Crown Prince will be over. Maybe. There is something that we can do. We have time before the marriage. I'll make Duke Shen come to me. I'll make him state a lie. He'll say Jiamin has fallen ill, which means no marriage. I guess that's the only way. John, medicine. Here, have some. How's he doing? If you want to know, I can find out for you.
He's gone missing. What? When they forced him to get married to my sister, he said no. He said you were the one he wanted. The princess refused, and she demanded that he comply. He cut his hair and said that he'll become a monk. No, I have to go! Listen first, just hear me out. Since all this got him angry, I didn't want you to go and get hurt. But now I know he truly loves you. Prince Changguang, please come in. <laughs> 